Alright, I'm going to show everyone how to uh, make the um, animated uh, cue block set with the ghost sequencer. So what I've got here is a set of cue blocks and a ghost sequencer. So this is how they come when you order them with no wires. And the cue blocks, um, these come from XLED. Um, they'll c they'll come as a set of pairs, so you order a quantity of pairs. Um, so each pair is, is two of these reflectors and then two of the boards that have uh, resistors and the LEDs on them. And so uh, each pair here you see, they come wired in series. Uh, and if you order them like we do, uh, you ask for them with uh, double grounds, and that means that they have uh, two white wires, or sorry, one white, one yellow wire uh, for each pair for the ground for the LEDs. And then the positives, uh, we, we desoldered all the original wires. They had one black wire for each one. Uh, what we do is desolder those and we string them all together like this so they all get 12 volts on the positive side. Um, so the first thing I do, uh, we like to put the sequencer right behind them keep all the wires nice and short. So first thing I do is bundle them all up like this and I'm just gonna hack off all this extra wire that we don't need. So now what I'm left with is this nice little bundle uh, that I'm about to solder to. Uh, and I'm gonna take a minute and, and uh, strip all these. Okay so now I've got these all stripped down I just strip about a quarter of inch off there, if you can see that. Um, and I'm going to start soldering. Okay, now I'm just going to do a quick inspection. <clears throat> And what I'm looking for is, uh, let's see if I can get a focus here. Um, so what you're looking for is you want to make sure the solder flowed through the hole and is covering the wire on the on the opposite side. And you're also looking for, like this one, this purple one isn't close enough. So I'm going to go ahead and redo that one. The others look good. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of solder that flowed through and coated both sides of the wire. Now, if your soldering iron's too hot, you're gonna start melting the um, the um, insulation of the wire. So if that's happening, you want to turn it down. Um, also, I'm using uh, uh, lead-free solder, so it's 99% tin and a tiny bit of copper. Um, this uh, I like it obviously because it's lead free, but uh, the uh, leaded leaded wire is much easier to work with. So if you don't mind lead, you can uh, go ahead and use leaded leaded solder, um, and it, it's easier because you can use it as a lower at a lower temperature. Um, so the first thing is to find the front one. In our case, I can tell by the way these are curved, so the ones in the back get curved. So we'll start with the front one. Now, for our standard uh, programming, for switchback, the amber ones go to the even number pins, which are on the closer to the middle of the board. I'm going to show this for educational purposes. So if you make a mistake and you got to re-solder, <clears throat> um, I mean it's actually kind of easy to desolder here, but in this case that wasn't an option. So um, I've got uh, you see how there's solder left in the hole after I after I desoldered them. So what I do is I take it sideways here like this. I come in on the opposite side with my soldering arm. 
heat up that hole and try to stick this guy in there. So this is what it looks like when you're done. Trying to get a good focus, there we go. So you got <coughs> wires are all in there nice and tight. Not a lot of exposed wire on the other side. And uh, you probably can't see it on the camera, but um, you wanna make sure that some, some solder flowed through again. Now the last thing is this one plus 12 wire because we've got all the ground wires so far um, so on these boards we put a couple holes for the extra plus 12 those are these holes right here by the on the side I'm trying to focus again yeah these holes right here so I'm just gonna stick that in there and solder that last So there's the last one. So that's what it looks like all finished up. Uh, except one last thing I'd like to do is clip all this excess wire that's sticking off the back here. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'm just going to show how I do this before I do it. So I just take a pair of uh, wire cutters here, come right down right near the board. And I clip each one like that. <laughs> okay, so that's that. So we got all the wires clipped nice and neat. Um, actually, one last thing I like to do is apply some, um, just some glue on the back here just to prevent accidental shorts. Um, but other than that, these are ready to go. I'm going to go program them and test them out. All right.